I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 477. We've talked about display technology that shows two different things at the same time, depending on a viewer's perspective. It's a neat idea, but not something I expected to make it to market because it brings up more problems than it solves. For instance, I'm on the couch watching Fringe while Neil is watching Martha Stewart. We're going to each need headphones and cuddling is completely not an option. Much to my surprise, the technology will be available next year and the company bringing it to market is Mercedes. The 8-inch display will be in the center of the dashboard console. The driver sees command, control, and navigation information while the passenger watches movies, TV shows, and Geek Brief. I used to have a little Sony CyberShot that was super handy despite its propensity for producing red eye in every photo featuring a human being. When the LCD cracked, I put the camera in a drawer and didn't replace it. Pocket cameras are more popular than ever, and if I ever get another one, I think I'll wrap it in a wrap-up tripod from Firebox.com. It's made from stretchy neoprene that I'm sure would have prevented my LCD from cracking. It closes like an envelope with Velcro. The camera attaches to the case's tripod mount, which has fold-out legs, so you can sit the camera on a table and get a steady shot. The wrap-up tripod is a great idea. I saw something else I think is a great idea on ehomeupgrade.com. It's called the MiFi and it's made by Novatel Wireless. It's a personal wireless broadband device that creates a hotspot for all your devices wherever you want to use them. It's an elegant thin box that would fit in a laptop bag or even a pocket. Its battery lasts for 40 hours on standby and four hours of active use. In addition to providing broadband for multiple devices, it also provides broadband for multiple users. The MiFi would be so useful on a road trip. It can be configured with different security options depending on whether it's going to be used as an enterprise solution, a small office home office solution, or just a personal solution. The user can customize mobile internet services into a start page. I want one of these as is, no questions asked, but the MiFi provides an opportunity for phone companies to do something really cool and I challenge them to do it. If I get a MiFi and put it in my purse, I no longer need multiple broadband accounts on all our phones. I pay for mobile broadband four different times. I would love to see phone companies provide an option, even at a premium, to dump all but the one on the MiFi. I'm not even sure I'd do it because I might not always want to carry it with me, but at least I'd like to have the option. AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, Rogers, here's your chance to do something really good for consumers. Every morning we check news feeds, RSS feeds, and browse to some blogs directly to see what's happening. Geekology.com rarely gives me a story I can use for Geek Brief, but it always makes me laugh. Yesterday, Geekology had some photos of something lots of you guys told me about. It's one of the most, why didn't I think of that ideas in the history of why didn't I think of that ideas? woven bacon. Think about it, bacon is perfect for weaving and yet most of us have never thought to weave it. I for one feel ashamed of myself. From what I can tell, the weaver's name is Dan and he didn't stop with a woven bacon mat. He filled it with shredded cheese, rolled it and cut it into slices to create what I propose should from here on out be called Southern Sushi. Do I get a second? second. All in favor say aye. Not out loud in the comments. That's it for today. We have the meetup with Andrew from Rocket Boom tonight in Dallas, and our second annual streaming Christmas party with Jeff Smith is in Nashville Monday night and live on Ustream. Details are in the show notes, but I have an important heads up for anyone coming to the Nashville show. Doors will close at 7.30 p.m. because the bar isn't going to be open to the public. I'm going to try and contact everyone who RSVP'd to make sure you get the message. This brief is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. The money-saving codes to use at checkout are GB1, GB2, and GB3. Alan, you one of the codes to register thegeekydad.com. Thanks too for watching. I'm Callie Lewis and I have to go rent a van to haul stuff to Nashville. All I ever wanted on the Christmas morning was you. Oh. <sighs> it's too cold to be wearing t-shirts. <laughs>